हेलो स्टूडेंट्स कंटिन्यूइंग विद आवर डिस्कशन ऑन कंटिन्यूस सिस्टम लॉन्जिट्यूडनल वाइब्रेशन टुडे विल सी वन मोर वेराइटी इन द लॉन्जिट्यूडनल वाइब्रेशंस सो हियर फाइंड द नेचुरल फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ अ बार फॉर अ लॉन्जिट्यूडनल वाइब्रेशन सो हियर यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज अ बार दिस इज अ बार हैविंग लेंथ एल एंड एट द एंड ऑफ द बार a mass is attached and it is being pulled by uh, by stiffness uh, by a spring uh, having stiffness k okay. so this is the displacement okay now uh first consider uh, this bar as a fixed free type of uh, bar uh, and end of the bar is being uh, pulled by uh, the mass and the spring so what will be the boundary conditions for this particular case that we'll see now at fixed end we know that the displacement is zero so at uh, u x equal to zero and t uh, this is the boundary condition for fixed end now at free end the free end of the bar is being uh, is being pulled by two forces one is the inertia force and the other one is the spring force and since since the system is in equilibrium condition then the tensile force in this uh in this uh, bar is equal to the inertia force and is equal to the spring force so the boundary conditions for the free end is this is the tensile force in the bar and this tensile force is equal to the inertia force by because of this mass now we know that the inertia force is mass into acceleration and since uh, the spring force and inertia force are in opposite direction so that is why uh, one is kept as negative one is kept as positive okay so this is the inertia force at the free end uh, of the bar similarly the the tensile force is also equal to the spring force so this inertia force is also equal to the spring force that is stiffness into displacement and uh, we know that the general solution uh, for uh, the fixed free end of a beam is given by this or this is the general solution for the longitudinal vibration uh, first we'll apply the first boundary condition that is u equal to 0 into t so if you put uh, this boundary conditions we'll get the value of b as 0 so we modified or rather reduce the 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 equation solution solution equation here then we apply the then uh, we apply, then we find out uh, the tensile force in the bar and for uh, for finding the tensile force first we need to differentiate the u with respect to x and put the value of x as l so this is the del u by del x at x equal to l so this expression we have obtained now to find out the tensile force multiply it with the cross sectional area so here cross sectional area is represented by as into uh, the young's modulus so this is the tensile force this is what this is the tensile force and uh, the second boundary conditions uh, the tensile force is equal to the inertia force so we'll find out the inertia force as well so this expression this expression is the inertia force now inertia force is mass into acceleration so differentiate uh, the displacement expression with respect to t two times you'll get the inertia force expression and according to the second boundary condition the tensile force is equal to the inertia force so we will equate it and uh, after the equating it uh, we get uh, uh, the solution as tan of omega n upon c into l is equal to ae upon c into m into omega n so this is uh, the relation that we obtained by applying the second boundary condition then third boundary condition is tensile force is equal to the stiffness force okay so we find out the expression for the stiffness force so this is 
the stiffness force that is u l comma t so if you put uh, the value of x as u in this equation you will get uh, this expression and it is multiplied by the stiffness so this is the spring force spring force and when you uh, according to the third boundary condition the tensile force is equal to the spring force so the tensile force so this is the tensile force and this is the spring force when we equate the expressions we will get uh, the second relation that is tan omega n upon c into l is equal to a e omega n upon k into c so here uh, in equation 1 and equation 2 the left hand side is same so we will uh, equate the right hand side so when we equate the right on right hand side then, then this a will a, a, a will get cancelled e and e will get cancelled c and c will get cancelled and this omega n square is equal to under root k by m and omega n is equal to under root k by l so omega n square is equal to k by m and omega n is equal to under root k by m so this is the frequency equation for this particular arrangement so i hope you have understood uh, this variety of longitudinal vibration and uh, this will give you sufficient idea how to approach this kind of a problems uh, whenever there is a force applied at the end so thank you very much.